Well, hello to the VA Help Desk people, and here is a short video on using Dropbox and OneDrive for Business together, and also opening to work, in this case, in an Excel spreadsheet on your desktop. So here I am in my online portal, and first of all, I want to show you what would happen if you want to open a document from Dropbox online. So we're talking about Excel at the moment, so I'm gonna go into Excel, and you'll note that over here on the left hand side, I can open documents from OneDrive for Business or from Dropbox. And that's because I added Dropbox as a place. So I'll click add a place just to show you and then you can choose what you want and it will ask you to sign in. But I've actually already done that. So I'm going to go to open from Dropbox. And here it's taken me into Dropbox and signed me in. And I've got this folder called Excel files to share. I'm going to choose this document or this spreadsheet. And you'll see that it opens up in my browser in Excel online inside my Office 365 account. And I can now add things to it and work on it as I wish. Now, when you're working online, it's being saved all the time. So you don't have to worry about saving. So that's just a list of courses that I've been creating. So I'm going to close that document down. Now I'm going to show you the same thing from my desktop. So here is my Dropbox folder, which is in my folder list. I'm using Windows 10. I've gone to Dropbox. You can see it's got an encryption sign. That's because my Trend Micro is um, protecting it. So just disregard that. And here is that Excel files to share folder. So when I have this folder synchronized to my computer with Dropbox, anything in that folder will be local. So now I can open up that exact same spreadsheet and this time it will open up in Excel on my desktop. And again, I can make any changes to it that I want. Now the difference here is because I've opened it from Dropbox, I get the Dropbox badge, which reminds me that that's where it's stored. And from here, I can do other things uh, with it if I want to. But I don't want to keep those changes, so I'm just going to come and delete them if it will let me. Let's go, go away badge. There we go. And again, I don't have to keep saving that because um, it, I do have to save it here because any change that I make. So let me click save and close that down, close the there, and I'm gonna go and open it from Dropbox now. Um, now I'm gonna hope that it's fast enough. So if I open it from Dropbox online, there we've got Excel files to share, tomorrow's VA, choose it, and it should open up with the change that I just added to it going up. There it is, there's the text I just added. I can actually delete that text now. Um, and save it and return to Dropbox. So again, just to reiterate, if you want to work in one of the Microsoft Office applications online with a document that's living inside a Dropbox folder, you need to add the Dropbox folder as a place. Once you've done that, you can work with it online. To work with your Dropbox files locally, you should be aware that you can just go to your folder list, open up your folder list, go to your Dropbox folder, get access to all of your folders and work that way. I hope that's shed a little bit of light. I've shown this using my Windows 10 computer. It's exactly the same if you're working on a Mac. Um, the only difference is that your file explorer on the Mac looks a little bit different. But as long as you can get to your Dropbox folder locally, then you're all set to work locally.